Hi everyone! Today I'll be talking about the Stanford Prison Experiment. This was a psychology experiment, but it also pertains to criminal justice. So Zimbardo and his team of psychologists wanted to measure things such as social expectations, labeling, how people conform into their social roles, and determine their behavior. This experiment was conducted in the basement of Stanford University. Um, it was a stimulated prison environment. And this was a real deal. So there was like solitary confinement. There was like there were uniforms, um, bars. The uniforms were worn by the 24 volunteers, all college students. They were mentally and physically strong. So 12 of them were the prison guards, and the 12 of the other 12 were the prisoners. So this was supposed to last two weeks, but it only lasted six days because of how badly things started deteriorating fast. Because of the abuse of power that the guards showed. By day two, they were already rebelling and it was just a mess. So this pertains to criminal justice because it kind of gives a insight on how the prison environment could be. Um, people could abuse their power, such as guards and people up there, such as police officers, guards, anybody who has that position of power and how people could conform into their social roles. So like um, constantly telling someone you're that and then that person believing it um, could, you know, cause them to be a criminal too. And then they treat their treated the prisoners like animals instead of actual people, which could happen in the prisons too. So it kind of make, begs the question, like, are prisons actually like this or does it actually end up like better for the prisoners? It helps them instead of making it worse.